Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Okay, let's just give some minutes to your classmates so they can connect. Okay. One, two, one, two, one, two. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Andres? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, let's do this. We are 14 already. So let me do the attendance first as usual. Welcome, today is our class number 20th. This is our 20th class, 20th class. Five more classes and you are on Christmas. Hey, are we having a Christmas party? A virtual Christmas party? Yes, teacher. We should. We should. Uh -huh, we should. But in English. Yeah, why not? Why not? Hey, don't forget today, tonight, you have to finish uh, your exercise up to unit three. You must have completed up to unit three by tonight. Oh my God, I just can't believe it. I just, oh my God. I forgot something extremely important. Give me just one minute. Oh my God. I'm a bad person. Just one minute.
I'm sorry. I have some kind of sister, you know, my cousin. I was raised, let's say, since I moved to, to San Salvador. I'm from Santa Ana. My parents got divorced, and so I moved from Santa Ana to, to San Salvador in 1994. And I, sorry, 1998. November 14th, 1998. I was taking a bus after making a tattoo on my leg. I was 16, I think. I was 16 years, no, 12, hold on, no, 98, yeah, I was 16 years old. And I moved to San Salvador to study and work. And, and this cousin of mine, you know, we, we have always been very, very together, you know. <laughs> and she's the one that corrected my speaking because your teacher used to say, she used to go like, what time is it? She used to go like, what time is it? And I used to say, Las una. So she used to hit me on the head. La una. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Like five times and I got it. I got it. I started saying la una, la una. So it was funny. I mean, she corrected me. She helped me a lot. And today is her birthday. So I just wished her a happy birthday. I call her la gallina. Si la llamamos de cariño en la familia, la gallina. Bueno, ya solo yo le llamo así. Porque camina puro gallina. So funny. Anyways, okay. Ready? Hmm. Today we have to talk about uh, something awful. Something strange. Things that could happen at work. Things that are very, very, very serious. But first, let me do the attendance, okay? Let's see. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, dog. Welcome. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present, good evening. On Friday. Woo! Got it. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> hey, I like that. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's good. Here we Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. How's the business going? It's going. It's going. <laughs> Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Awesome. Welcome, Mr. Google. Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. I think you're working, right? Yeah, teacher. Uh, don't worry. There's a lot of traffic on the street. Don't go. Don't leave yet. Too much traffic. There are two accidents right now. Ah, okay. well, thank you. Thank you for being here. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanes. She was around here. I saw her. Yeah, I saw her. Oh, there she is. Irene Azucena. Okay. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Excellent. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Yet, Josue Alberto Salas Benitez. Present teacher. Excellent, excellent. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Welcome. Luis Thank Ernesto you. Romero Argueta. Present. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Thank you. Miguel Angel Paz Landa Verde. He's still working. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Hmm, not here yet. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Of course, it's Friday. Okay. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Excellent. Wendy. Hello, teacher. Is there a lot of traffic in Santa Ana? Oh, uh, maybe uh, some, some, sometimes. I don't know if it's correct. Uh, the, sometimes, yeah. Yes. But right now, it's not 
no more uh, traffic. It's very slow. There's there's no more traffic. Mm, it's very it, Santa Ana is very very quiet. Very calm, very quiet. I know. Mm, yes, it's very. It's, it's like it's like nothing happens in Santa Ana anymore. <laughs> no, it's very. Thomas, tranquilo. Calm. 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 Yes. Let me correct something on your name, Wendy. Look at your name. Okay. Okay. So we'll talk about it um, tonight. I would like to make sure I have this right tonight before we start the class, just in case you're thinking about leaving back to your bed tonight and rest. Where are you? Where are you? Tonight. It is working, okay. Wendy, will you stay with me 10 minutes? Today? Yeah, tonight. Mm -hmm. Would you like to? Okay. Okay, just 10 minutes, don't worry. Okay, so have you ever felt sick due to an accident? Hmm. Have you ever been in an accident? What happened? What were your symptoms? What were your symptoms? Let me tell you a brief story, a brief story. You know, as a kid, we had, as kids, as kids in general, I think. I think all of us, all of us are not all, are not young, right? We are not young, we are not old, we are not young. So I think that in our childhood, we didn't have a car, at least me, my family didn't have a car. And I lived in Santa Ana, so I used to walk to school. Like many other kids, you know, I had to walk. It wasn't that far, it wasn't that far. But the thing is that one day I was walking and I crossed the street and in a corner, a motorcycle was coming and it was a dad, it was a, a guy, you know, with the baby, I mean, with her, with his um, daughter, I guess, her, his daughter holding his back, you know, as a passenger, right, on a motorcycle. This was near to the Spencer Don Juan when, and so, so, so the thing is that I was walking and I don't know why, but I looked at the motorcycle and when I looked, the guy crashed against a vehicle and it was very close to me. So the girl, oh, because they crashed, they had a, the car, they didn't crash against the vehicle. No, no, no. They crashed against a pedestrian. A pedestrian. Okay. They crashed again against a pedestrian. It was a, a lady. It was a very young lady. And and she fell, she fell right in front of me. But she fell with her column, you know, with her spine, I'm sorry, with her spine all twisted. Her, her spine was twisted and she couldn't speak and she started shaking. I was like eight or nine years, no, eight, nine years old, I think. Yeah, I wasn't four, no, I wasn't four, so I was 10, I was 10 years old. Man. I was in shock. I felt, you know, I felt shaken. I was, uh, I was shivering, shivering. And, and it was really weird, but I was frozen. I, I wanted to help, but I was 10 years old. So I just started walking again. And I don't know why, maybe I was walking slow, but I lost the notion of time. And I continued walking. I had to walk three walks, three, three blocks, three blocks more to get to my school. When I got to the, to the school, it was late. Somehow it was late and I was on time. So the thing is that I was in shock. And I told, I told uh, the principal, the principal who was a nun, she was a nun. You know what is a nun? A nun? Moha? 
right? Because I, I told you before, it was a school for orphan kids, you know, so my classmates were orphans, you know, from the, from, how do you say orphanate in English? It's not homeless, it's foster kids. You know, they were foster kids. The thing is that I uh, told her, Orphanage. Orphanage, thank you, orphanage. Yeah, orphanage, thank you. Okay, and I told her and she was, and you came late for that? Nothing happened to you? And I was like, oh my God, but I saw everything. <laughs> I was so, it felt really weird, okay? Why is that our topic? What were my symptoms? I felt a little bit dizzy, shivering, you know, um, I don't know, insecure. I lost time. Mm. Okay, symptoms, what happened? Mm. What happened to the girl? How do you call it when somebody falls to the ground suddenly, okay? and then it starts shaking. You call that a seizure, a seizure. So now that you're going on groups to answer these questions, because this, is, this has to do with your topic for today. Today we have to talk about <clears throat> hazards. We have to talk about safety measures related to different processes at a warehouse how to be safe in the warehouse. In other words, there are many accidents in warehouses. So we're gonna talk about it, okay? You have the questions on your chat on Zoom. I'm gonna send them to your WhatsApp as well. Make sure you speak, look for vocabulary. Ask your classmates, hey, how do you say, <clears throat> how do you say aneurysma in English? How do you, dog, your specialty, the lucky ones, it will be with duck. I'm gonna get some vocabulary, right? That's very interesting. Okay, let's do it. You can do it. You can do it. But I have to stay to keep studying. Okay. And then, guys, the first question Have you ever fell sick to an accident? Do to it to an accident. Do to. Do to. Do to. Uh, yeah. Do to. Mm -hmm. An accident. What are synonyms for tired, Luis? Synonyms tired. for tired. Tired. Mm, I don't really know. Okay. Sure. Andres? Mm, you just said, you just said one, Luis. Luis, what did you say? Exhausted. Yeah, exhausted. Exhausted. What else? Mm -hmm. Ow! <laughs> Burnt? Burnt, that's right. There are many. Okay. So Burnt, tired. Okay, I'm done. Okay, go ahead, continue. Okay. Um, in my case, ooh. when I was uh, 17 years, uh, I, I saw a, a motorcycle uh, fall in the street with, with a woman, mm. but they, they only they only got lesions like how do you say rasparse so rasparo completamente
Y yo sé y rasparse, no sé. Rasparse. Rasparse. Uh -huh. Scrape. Scratch. 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 They, Scratch. Maybe the, the, the middle, the half of their body was scratched. It's all scratched. Oh, yes. But uh, they, they survived, but uh, it was, uh, I was like, what, what I have to do because uh, I, 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 I was 17 years. I have a phone, but without, uh, without going to call. So <laughs> what, what, what I do? So uh, some people that uh, was uh, walking around uh, uh, came to to help to help them. So. Some people that were walking, were walking around. Yes, where? Yes, was where? Okay. In my case, I I had uh, an accident in a jet ski, mm -hmm. but it was driven for uh, a friend of mine. I was the passenger, so he he was going very fast, and then he turned to the left. And the jet sky fell. Dio vuelta. And my knee, I can't move move my knee. My knee, uh -huh. my rodilla. Ah. Uh -huh. uh, uh, like a like a stick, straight the, the my leg. Uh -huh. Really? Like four four days. Mm -hmm. You spent okay. you spent four days in the hospital. No, but I I have to go to uh, donde un salvador. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And after that, I I feel very well. Help. Feel very well. Mm -hmm. I I saw the difference. I noticed. I, uh -huh. I noticed the difference. I noticed the difference because I was using a. Uh, Muleta, como se dice? Cr crutches, crutches. Crunches, I was, uh -huh. I was just in crutches. Uh -huh. Only that, uh, then, uh, then in car. That's it. Never. I, sometimes I was near to have an accident, but God saved me many times. Uh, damage uh, that was um, really um, uh, I don't know how to say uh, low damage uh, yeah. minor. We, minor minor, minor damage, damage. Uh, all the passenger was okay only where? was the we're okay and only was um maybe there was just, repeat there was just the there was there was just um i have i i don't know why to say oh Scary? i just got scared i i just got scared okay we just uh scared we just got uh, we just got scared but <laughs> I I only uh, say make I don't know I don't, I don't come on you I don't can know do what it to say <laughs> to say what uh, I only thank God because or uh, all of try the to use was... try to use just instead of only just. I just thank God I just thank God I because God. all the passenger uh, were okay and that's not a, a big accident and I think that God was really really good with us because 
we I, I can I can think uh, uh, in in that situation we were in the bus and uh, high velocity and I, I can imagine that um, all um, were be all well okay uh, at the end but. Yeah. We were all okay in the, in the end. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody else? Now let's look for a vocabulary related to injuries. You know what is an injury? Injury. Okay. Yeah. How do you say herida in English? Wound. Wound. What? Wound. 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 Yeah. Wound. Wound. Heart. Injury. Injury. Oh. Okay. Keep going. How do you say? How do you say? How do you say desmayo? Mm -hmm. How do you say desmayo? Mm, painting. Painting. Paint. Painting. Okay. Paid. Painting. 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 Painting is, is like um, desvanecerse. It's oh. paid. Paid, F A D E, is desma desmayarse. No, no, it's the opposite. It's the opposite. It's the opposite. Paid, F A D E, is desvanecerse. It's like when you go really, you don't, you don't faint, you don't faint, but you, you almost faint. Like because if you faint, you go unconscious, you know, you lose consciousness if you faint. But if you, um, if you fade, you just feel like when your sugar goes down, they say, oh, my sugar went down. Right? That's fading. Got it? F A D E. Okay, let's take it back so we can find more vocabulary all together. Sandra's driving, that's why she didn't say hello. Okay, okay. Be careful, Sandra. Yeah, she said person right. Okay. We're just waiting for the rest. Let's see what kind of vocabulary you found. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Okay. How do you say huesos rotos? Uh, broke bones. Broken? Broken. Bones. Ah, broken. broken bones. Mm. Okay. How do you say me rompí un hueso? I fractured my bone. I fracture my bone. Mm -hmm. Okay. I broke my bone. I broke a bone. I broke bone. I broke my bone. 
my leg. I broke my leg. I broke my arm. Broke is, is like your your bone is. It's broken in yeah. pieces, and you're not saving out of this. You're not getting saved out of this. Which movie is that? Oh. Doctor, will you tell my wife that that bone is not broken? Son como niños. <laughs> it's so happy. I mean, so funny. I mean, that, that scene is one of my favorite. <laughs> okay, aha. Uh -huh. Broken bones. Broken, broken con minute is correct. Broken? Con minute. Una fractura en astilla o con minuta. Is All correct. Right. Mm. Yes, it's really? Good. Really? <laughs> Cuando se pone material para reconstruir. Oh, really? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's broken in small no? pieces. In small pieces. Oh, okay. it's, so it's, it's not a fracture. A fracture? Yes. A bone fracture. It's different than a broken bone. You just have a, a little fracture. Google, how do you say grieta in English? Crack, crack, some cracks. Okay. What else? How do you say herida in English? Grieta is cracked, like you said. Mm -hmm. Herida. Wound. 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 Is wound. there another wound. way? There's a more uh, common way to say wound. Injury. Injury. Heart. Heart. Heart? No, heart. Hurt. Oh, heart. oh. Heart. Yeah, let's get, let's gather, let's put everything together. So, hurt is a synonym of pain. Okay. I got hurt. And we're, we're going to talk about the verb get today. I think I did before, right? Remember that get means transition. You remember get means transition? The four meanings of get? No? Yes. Yes, right? Get hurt. Okay. I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Doc, I'm in, I'm in pain. My heart. My heart aches. Why pain? I'm in pain. What did it? Oh, my God. Don't pay attention. It's pain. <laughs> I'm sorry, my brain. Okay. <laughs> Hurt. <laughs> yeah. Pain okay. So <laughs> yeah. Come on, guys. Help me. Pain. I mean, pain. It hurts. It hurts. So, what is pain? Dolor. Dolor. But is Dolor? it a verb? Is it a verb? No. No, it's a word. An adjective, if you want. Okay, pain. What about hurt? It hurts. It hurts. No. It's no. a verb. Hurts. It's a verb. Love hurts. Uh, okay, my back aches. My back aches. My heart aches. My heart aches. Is it a verb? Adjective. Adjective? Come on, Alex. It's a verb. My heart aches. My head like, uh, headache. aches. Oh, exactly. Head aches. Stomach aches. Back aches. Okay. Heartache. Throat aches. Sore throat. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I'm in pain. My whole body aches. Be careful. My whole body aches. I'm in pain. My whole body hurts. So in other words, hurts. Okay. Aches, verbs. Pain, a word. Okay. Now, uh, what's the difference between an injury, an injury and a wound? 
What is the difference the difference between an injury and a wound? Maybe. How um, how how do you say? ¿Qué más, qué tan grave es? ¿O qué tanto tiempo on, puede pasar? It depends on how how bad it is. It depends on how bad it is. How bad? Be because it is. I don't know, but I think an injury is, is related with the uh, uh maybe when you have a lot of time to to get to get help how do you say or to recuperar oh when you have to rest you have to rest but a consider a considerable time because it's not mm -hmm. uh something little is it's an injury an injury uh -huh. is something so how do you call those small cracks those small small cuts you know if you get caught how do you how do you call it a hurt? Uh, uh, it hurts. It hurts, but it's not a hurt. Uh, it's a cut. It's a a cut. 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 It's a cut. I, I, I cut. I cut my arm. I yeah, cut the way you say Jury, jury. Uh, maybe the injury is when you broke something. You like you a bones. Broke something like your bones. Okay. Mm. The other one is more the like a your cut your something that your skin or something like that. Yeah, an injury could be from something small to something really serious, you know, an injury. Okay. I am, and it could be a verb as well. I'm injured. I'm injured. And in the United States, they use the name injured worker referring to an employee who got injured at work. Injured, injured. Teacher, okay. injury the same disease. This say the disease. Disease. Yes. We're gonna talk about that word in a Maybe minute. Maybe don't do not do not need a cut. Only disease is is injury too. No, uh, it's different. It's illness. How, how do you spell the other one? Wait, disease is to be bad. The font. Yeah, that's right. Disease is, is actually enfermedad, and it's the same pronunciation well, with a D in the end for diseased. Diseased, okay, a defunct a, to be extinguished, to become warm buffet. To become warm buffet. No? Okay, no le he puesto seguido de Robin Williams, Patch Adams, I love her. Patch Adams, sinónimos de muerte. Cuando llega a la. A la, a la si ¿sí vieron esa película, es cuando él llega donde el grumpy guy está molesto porque se va a morir, tiene, tiene cáncer de colon. Y le llega a dar un montón de sinónimos de muerte. Y el tipo le da risa y empieza a entrar por el You can get a lot of ways to say death. Okay, moving on. So, injury. From something small to something really bad. And among, among these bad injuries, there is a wound. A wound, listen guys, a wound is something that you need to treat constantly. Sometimes wounds heal. Hey, sometimes wound, I mean wounds heal sooner than others. Uh, for example, you may not see, but I, I have a wound. Like when you went to Vietnam, right? You have a, I have a wound here, you cannot see, I have a wound here because my brother, my brother was hammering, my brother was hammering, hammering nails 
and I stood on the back, I stood on his back, and he was doing this. And I went and, and looked at him and said, It was like, and then I went to the hospital and I got, I got five stitches. I got five stitches. What are stitches? What? Puntos. Puntos. You got it done. It's not dots. <laughs> I got four dots. I don't know. Dots are like, yeah. Stitches. So, uh, Wound is something that cut your skin. Uh, let, uh -huh. Allow me to finish. You need to, your, your wound heal. Okay, it's small, but there are some wounds that you need to go to the hospital every day to change, to change your bandage, your bandage. And it, it goes like this. You see? How do you say curación? Uh, Hmm. To be treated, you have to be treated to heal. Heal is curar. So H E A L. It's on your chat, on your Zoom chat. Okay. Mm -hmm. To heal. There's a song from George Michael. There's where I heard that word. Heal the pain. Heal the pain, George Michael. Yeah. Okay. So stitches, wounds, uh, bandages. How do you say yes? So in English. Mm. You can say casket. Mr. Google is failing right now. Uh oh, we have no internet. Gibson? What? Uh, Gibson? Gibson? Yeah, that, that's not that used. There's another way to say casket. Or yes. Plaster? Plaster, yes. That's more used. And actually, casket is ataúd. Don't pay attention to that. No, but I heard it. I heard it before. Hold on. Plaster. How do you say casket? Yeah, that won't make sense. No, 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 no. It's, it's plaster. I got a plaster. Now, how do we use get with this? You can use get, got, right? I got a, I got a casket. I got a casket in my arm. Mm -hmm. I got, I got five stitches. Ada? Por eso. Solo quería hacer una pregunta. I am the, the generally in June, is there is a, a causal object called uh, the injury in the medicine is considered um, more, 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 or más grave que un, que un want. And the one is an accident, the, the one is an accident uh, for the, the provocado por un juego in en cambio la injuria es accidental the injury oh, listen injury comes from injuria yes so it is generalmente, caused. generalmente este nosotros consideramos una injuria quirúrgica cada cirugía entonces es provocada generalmente por algo cortante sharp object just sharp object Yes. Mm. Wow. See? Yeah, but the wound is the remainder, is the remainder of mm -hmm. a serious injury. The wound yes. is the remainder of a serious injury. Uh, when I worked for the workers' compensation program of the United States or the social security, as you call it here, you know, I heard a lot of terms like those, you know. People go into physical therapy. You know what is physical therapy, right? Go into physical therapy um, to wound treatment. Wound treatment every day. Go to wound treatment to change your bandages. You know, ah, it's really hard. Okay, 
So, how do you say this mayas in English? We saw it with a group. Blackout. Oh, Fighting. To have, Fighting. A to have a blackout, to pass out. Ada? Painting. Paint, paint. Paint. Paint, painting, paint. Paint. Uh -huh. Paint. That's what I told them because Metallica has a song called Fade in Black. Desvanecerse, fade in black. And that's like when you when your sugar blood, your blood sugar goes, goes down. You fade. Okay, keep going. What else do you know? Show me what you know. Go to the chat. I want to get some vocabulary from you. Come on. Jeopardize. Type it, type it. Jeopardize. Convulsing. Convulsing sounds like a seizure. That's really bad. Sometimes some words won't make sense on the trend on the Google Translate. Jeopardize what is jeopardize, Alexander? As uh, far as I know, it's like when you, for example, put in a read something or your life. I mean jeopardize. Yeah. Take risks. Take risks. Mm -hmm. It's uh, okay. The seizure is like, oh, a stroke. That's a good one, look. A stroke. A good doctor. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Stro a stroke, uh, you can have a brain stroke, right, doc? A brain stroke, or you can have a, a heart stroke. A heart stroke. And this is really weird, but there are also throat, throat stroke. Uh, let's see if you got it. Uh, I used to work with an insurance company, with insurance company, insurance companies, and the field consultant, do you know what is a field consultant? Espero que estén poniendo atención porque todo lo que estamos hablando ahorita, lo que estoy diciendo, lo vamos a ocupar probablemente en unos minutos. A field consultant is the guy from the insurance that goes to the place of the accident and he takes notes and he takes pictures. He investigates. Yeah, he goes into the field. So I talked to a field consultant once and he, he called to report that he had an accident. He was driving to a place where there was an accident and he had an accident. And he told me, you know what? I was choking. I was choking. I had a, a, a throat, a throat stroke because I was drinking coffee. I was drinking coffee with a piece of a donut, you know, that I was chew I was chewing a piece of donut and I I sip I sip some coffee and I I turn around to turn my car, to do a turn. He was doing a turn. And I drink coffee and I, I got stroked, you know, and the stroke. So I started coughing. And while I was coughing, I didn't see the other car. I didn't see the other car, so we crashed. It was an accident. Okay. Okay, heart attack. Okay. But Doc, can you get a heart stroke? Mm -hmm. It's not a heart attack. You don't die. You don't die, but you get a stroke. Mm -hmm. you almost die. That's, that's really serious. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come on, guys. Convulsion. Convulsion is like a, a seizure. Seizure. Okay. Headaches. That's it? Really? Okay. How do you say respond in English, Fer? Huh? 
But one. Press on. One. Press on. Ah no, a scratch. Scratch. There's gotta be another way. No, no one is, is is a herida. Okay. What is a bruise? It's what like is a bruise? Bruise. Can you spell? Like when you when your wife hits you, Fernando. Ah. <laughs> And she leaves a mark. Uh, uh, Internet uh, is bad. Uh, when the, when your wife hits you and she leaves a purple a purple mark on your arm. Mm. That's a bruise. bruise. That is interesting. Failure. Moreton. <laughs> yeah, moreton. <laughs> failure is that proper? Is that good writing? Uh, uh, failure. Oh, okay. I thought it was. Is it failure, Sule? I think it's failure. F A I. Okay. I I make those mistakes too. Don't worry. Uh, okay. What else? What else? What else? Common things. Common things. Convulsion. Okay. So all of these things can be caused by. As the doc said, you know, by a sharpened object, there are other hazards. There are other hazards at work that could cause you an injury. Have you ever been injured? Have you ever been injured by paper? Yeah. Hurts. Ooh, wow. That hurts. Okay. Okay. There are other hazards, even in your office. Okay. And a hazard is different than uh, a risk, you know. And there's a difference. Risk is something that may, is, is you know, something that may cause, may cause damage to someone you are under risk you are at risk you have a risky job you have a risky job uh jose antonio i think he has a risky job because he works in construction so there's a lot of things that could harm <gasps> there's a lot of things that could harm him that could harm him not hurt him but harm him Harm. Okay. Vocabulary. This is all about it. There are many words. How do you say cirugia in English? Surgery. Surgery. Let's continue. Surgery. What, what, what? Surgery. Surgery. Okay. How do you say jurado in English? Jurado. Jurado. Ah, jury. So if you put together sir and jury. Surgery. Surgery. <laughs> uh, surgery. 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 Perfect. Surgery. 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 Okay. That sounds like and uh, how do you say Siruhan in English? Surgeon. Surgeon. You have surgeon. 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 It's very similar to Sir and John. Surgeon. Surgeon. There you go. <laughs> that, that's the way it is. It's just phonetics. Okay. Phonetics. You got it. Let's go. Let's continue. I'm going to do the attendance one more time so we can move on with the next stage of this class. Okay. Okay. Present teacher. Andres Carolina. Oh, Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. I'm sorry. Present Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present. Thank you. That was weird. Irwin Lagos Andrade. <coughs> Wake up, Irwin. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Eddie Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. 
Irene okay. Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Antonio Cubía Sardández. Present teacher. José Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Sumaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Sorto Romero. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Suleyma Ivón Moreno Hernández. Perdón. Present. Ok. Um, Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. En Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abac. Ok. Present. Thank you. Ok. So let's move it. Let's start with your book. And tonight we are on page 32. 32. We're talking about hazards, hazardous materials. But first, what's your goal on this topic tonight? Provide safety measures related to different products. At a, at, a, at, a, at a warehouse, at a warehouse. Again, I will be able to provide safety measures related to different processes at a warehouse. One, two, three. Sandra, please. Uh, how far those materials and materials are always found in a warehouse? How do you? How do you keep your employees of, of, of danger? What kind of dangerous material and chemical might be found in a waterhouse? Good. Let's repeat. Hazardous. Hazardous. Mm -hmm. Todas las palabras que terminan en O, U. Vas a obviar la O. Jealous. Okay. Jealous. Jealous. For example, jealous. Fabulous. No. Fabulous. Delicious. Shoes. Delicious. Hazardous. Mm -hmm. And the uh, worst, the worst enemy of Harry Potter. No, other than Baltimore, I'm sorry. The other teacher. Come on. See. Sirius, Sirius, Sirius Black, Sirius. Okay, repeat. Materials. Materials. Mm -hmm. There you go. And by the way, you say machinery. Machinery. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, you have to join the T between two vowels. So you say out of, out of danger. Out of. Out of danger. One more time. Out of danger. Out of danger. Hmm. Sandra? Out of. Out of. Out of. That's really good because you're doing the same thing that my wife does. When I say off, she says out. Out. Off. 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 Out of. There you go, perfect. Out of, out of. Out of. There you go, thank you. Out of danger. What kind of dangerous? Dangerous. You got it. Remember, there's always one syllable stress. Dangerous. Dangerous. And this one, Sandra? Yes. Mm -hmm. Again? Oh. Material. Mm -hmm. Materials. Materials. Excellent. Materials. Materials. And here, the mm -hmm. CH is not a ch, ch, ch. It's a k, k, k. Uh -huh. So? Chemicals. Chemical. Chemicals. Chemicals. Perfect. Excellent. So, service materials are machinery. Wait. 
Materials, materials and machinery are always found in a warehouse. How do you keep your employees out of danger? What kind of dangerous materials and chemicals may, may be found in a warehouse? Guys, help me. Always found in a warehouse. How do you keep your employees out of danger? What do you do to keep someone out of danger? Giving, giving you the the uh, properly equipment to, to work. Proper equipment to work. Okay. It depends when what what is the the nature of the work or what the, the company does. What does your company produce? Yeah. What do you do in, in your company, right? Appropriate. Personal protection equipment. Personal protection equipment. PPE. Personal protection equipment. True. Uh-huh. What else can you do, Luis? Wait, Judy, Judy, I have some time without listening to Judy. Judy, where are you? Yes, it's you. How do you keep your employees out of danger? Out of danger from hazardous materials or dangers in the warehouse? Acids. Acids. Inflammable. Flammables. Flammables. Gloves. Oh, you give them gloves. Personal gloves. protection equipment. PPE. Personal protection equipment. What about Googles? Mm -hmm. Googles. Yes. Yes, you know, it is. Glasses, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Come on, guys. Everybody. You didn't need. Helmet. Hear you. Helmet. Helmet. Okay. What else do you do other than the personal protection equipment? What else do you do in the warehouse? The kind of boat. boat. Boats. Boats. Boots. The kind of boots, boots. With, boots with a tube. With a tube. Okay. Yeah, but gloves. Gloves. Okay. Forget about closing personal protection equipment. What else can you do to prevent an accident at work? Training, teacher. Trainings? Yep. So Training. to manage uh, dangerous yeah. materials. What are dangerous materials? Excellent. Here we go. Wear helmet. Yes, that's part of the personal protection equipment. But what else can you do? Uh, for example, I, I, I see in some warehouse or some workplace that uh, they draw uh, uh, how do you say Camino? They draw a path in this country. A path that you have to follow if you are walking in the in the warehouse. You you don't have you don't you don't you don't you can you can walk. Uh, or outside of that path. Out of, out of, out, out of. of. Out of that path. Do, do it again for out of that path. Out of, of out of that path. Okay, and you say path. Path. Which okay. brain? Josie? Respect the schedule, teacher. What, Johnny? Respect the schedule, worker. Respect the schedule. How how will respecting the schedule will keep you away from from hazardous materials or you think? Hmm. Actually, when you are working in a warehouse, you need to be aware all the time. This is our recommendation, you know, because there are heavy materials. Um, in the high position. Bad, or, Alexander. Yeah. Become, become, or always be aware of your surroundings. Always look to the yeah. roof. 
look to the sides, don't, don't uh, crash. Even with lifter, or lifter. Or... Oh, we lifter, yes, lifters in the warehouse. Josie. Tell me. Me. Sorry? Me. You said, tell me, I said me. <laughs> yes, tell me teacher, sorry. Me teacher, okay. What other things do you consider useful to prevent an accident at a workplace? We, uh, well, uh, the ones that they were mentioned already, helmets, uh, glasses, and uh, also uh, good equipment. Some good uniforms, equipment. some company use uniforms to make um, a process when they were in a warehouse. And good trains right. too. I know. And a flexible flow. Mm. Okay, signs. Signs, are there signs in your job? Are there signs in your job that, for example, say, use the hand drill? Yes. Yes. Yes, there are. Are there signs that say, what's your steps? What's your step? Oh my God, this lecture. What's your step? Mm -hmm. And so on, right? Okay. Oh, watch out with this one. High voltage, stay away, right? Good. And there is, there are two signs that you never pay attention to. We never pay attention to two signs. Where do you see these two signs? <laughs> you never In the door. Ah, uh, always the same problem, right? Pull push two different things even in spanish we go crazy with these two words right okay so that's what we're about to see so let's move it let's uh start talking about this but guys come on you have to speak i can be talking all the time so we have an a segment about warehouse safety procedures but just to, before we read this, um, before we read this in groups, I would like you to watch a video regarding this. It's a very short video regarding the topic. It's about hazardous, hazardous materials. Unfortunately, I don't have a way to display it with you here, you know, due to copyrights. Gotta be very careful. And it's talking about hazardous materials. It's on your WhatsApp. If you want, please, let's watch it. It's very short. How long is it? Okay, it's just one minute. It's just one minute. So let me mute you and go ahead and watch the video. Look for vocabulary.
Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello, Heidi. How are you, Wendy? Fernando. Hello. Hello. Hi, Heidi. Hi, teacher. <laughs> I think you, you didn't hear the instructions. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, please tell me. We're watching a short video. It's just one minute and a half. It's on your WhatsApp. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, that's okay. Welcome. You look tired. I am. Don't worry. We're almost done. Thank you for joining us. It's very short video, right? Yes, it's a very short video. Let me know whenever you're done. But look for vocabulary, understand. Okay, so health, physical, and environmental, environmental hazards. Okay, are you done, or are you start? Are you still studying the video? Let me know. I'm done, teacher. I don't know. Let's just wait for the others. I think many of of them are taking notes. to turn on your cameras. Written. <laughs> That's a good one, Wendy. That is a good one. Threaten. Threaten. It's a synonym of hazard. But that is what you feel. You don't feel hazard. You feel threatened. Threaten. The teacher threatens me. The teacher threatened me. Threaten me. Of course, this is something really bad. This is something really bad. If I tell Wendy, Wendy, um, I don't know if you, I couldn't do this. Wendy, if, if I don't, if you don't give me a hundred dollars, you don't give me a thousand dollars, Wendy, 
I'm going to call my cousin, who is a gang member in Santa Ana. This is three. 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 No, 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 no. It's an example. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> threaten, threaten, threaten. It's like when somebody tells you, I'll kill you. That's a threaten, a threaten. Got it? Como una alerta. Amenaza. Um, okay. It's a synonym of, of, of uh, hazard. 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 Right. Mm -hmm. It's a synonym of hazard. Okay. But you, you cannot say uh, the teacher hazards me. Hazards me? No. Got it? Is he straight me? Treat me. It's difficult. Threat them. Threat them. Threat them. Threat them. Threat them. Okay. The teacher threatened me. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. the way. Threat me. Okay. Any other word? More words. There are a lot of words on that video. Don't say no. It's just one minute that there's a lot of vocabulary. Dizziness, dizziness. You feel dizzy? Yeah? Okay. Genetic, genetic, the defects. Okay. Genetic. Mm -hmm. Have you ever drank uh, thinner, you know, the, the paint, uh, the paint thinner, paint thinner, the worst thinner. Have you ever drink, drank, have you ever drank paint thinner? No? Yeah. I, I, I did once. Yeah. My father-in-law was trying to kill me. We, we were painting the house we were painting the house with oil, oil paint. And he went to buy some thinner. He came back home and I was still upstairs. I was upstairs painting the house near to Sandra Elizabeth. So we, I used to live near to Sandra actually. And, and we were painting the house. I was upstairs on the second floor. He came back, he brought the thinner. Suddenly I felt thirsty, you know, so I thought, oh, I'm going to drink some water, went downstairs, and I grabbed a bottle of water, crystal, you know, crystal water, I opened it, and I did this, and when I felt the taste in my tongue, I ran, because he brought dinner on these bottles, I was like, oh my God, he didn't say anything. I mean, I almost, <laughs> it feels horrible. So yeah, okay. That was a hazard, well, not, not a threat. Okay, vocabulary guys, come on. No, okay. Let's keep going then. We have a, a, a reading. I'm going to read it for you and then I'm going to split you so you can practice for a few minutes together. It's very simple. How do you say? Um, <clears throat> reflujo. In English, what's the Google? Reflujo. 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 Does that word even exist? Or is there a technical word for reflux? Uh, reflux. 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 I don't or, know. or app. But app is like a decaimiento, decaída. Ah. App. To, to be. EBB. Um, EBB. Yes. Okay. Okay, well guys, this is page 32. This is page 32, if you want, you can follow me, but don't read aloud, just listen and practice. Put my pocket face in front of you one second. Okay, there's my ugly face, as you can see. 
Okay, let's do this together. So it says there is more to warehouse safety than obedience to fire codes and safety regu regulations. Unfortunately, I repeat, unfortunately, too many warehouse and third party logistics look at safety as meeting the minimum instructed, instructed by the law, by the law, or their cons, I'm sorry, or their their conscience, conscience, I'm sorry, conscience, 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 conscience. It's not conscious, conscience, conscience. In the long run, in the long run, however, a safe warehouse environment delivers important cost savings through, through higher employee satisfaction and increased productivity, fewer workplace disruptions and reduced absenteeism, I repeat, absenteeism and equipment, equipment downtown, downtime. Equipment downtime. Don't expect, listen, don't expect, mm -mm, don't expect, don't expect employees to start with a culture, culture of safety at work. Establishing a safety culture, including the necessary operational changes and training and edu edu education programs starts with you. The following are some measures you could start implementing with your team. Make sure that garbage, garbage and debris, debris, debris bins are available throughout, throughout, throughout the warehouse. One more time. Make sure that garbage and debris bins are available throughout the warehouse. Block access to expose or open loading dock doors. Keep aisles and passageways, I'm sorry, passageways, passageways clear at all times, at all times, passageways. Keep your back straight. Keep your back straight. Don't bend over. Don't bend over. Teach employees to push manual material handling equipment whenever possible. Rather, rather than, rather than pull loads, rather than pull loads. Test the load before lifting it. Test the load before lifting it. If it is too heavy or bulky, bulky, get help. Keep docks and floors free of boxes, garbage, boxes, bailing materials, debris, dirt, dirt, and oil, oil. Permit access to above floor racks and shelves only if portable, portable, portable ladders, I'm sorry, ladders, 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 or appropriate lifting devices are available. Okay. You got it? Any questions? I I had a little problem with the, the, the word throughout. Oh, throughout. 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 
Throughout. Throughout. Throughout. T R O. That is the pronunciation. Throughout. Throughout. I want to write it for you. Right? It, it's like standing there. Throw. Ah, throw. Throw out. Mm, throw you're, out. Not, you're not doing throw. 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 There throw. you go. Throughout. TH with Z. T. Uh -huh. Throw out. Throw out. Throw out. Throw out. Throw out. Tiene que sonar un poquito suave. Throw out. Throw out. Throw out. Throw out. Throw out. Sí, porque si no, si no te va a sonar a. A T. Sí. No, a, a, vomit, a vomitar. Ah. Uh -huh. Which is a compound word. Throw out. Or throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up. Okay. Same. Good, good. I'm tired. So this is page 32. Let's go with this first. Read, understand. And I'll need to make you some questions because I don't know what is the meaning of debris. I don't know what's the meaning of debris beans. I don't know what's the meaning of batch. Passageways, um, aisles, I don't know what's an aisle. Loading docks, loading dock doors, I don't know what is that. Hmm. Pull loads, there's a lot of vocabulary here that may be new for you. And believe it or not, this is very used in America. So let's practice together, that's page 32. Come on guys, you can do this, you know you can do it. Let's go. William, Miguel. Jose Antonio, let's go. Take turns. Hey, you look tired, but you look beautiful. You just you just iron your hair, right? You, you let it you let it. How do you say it has to swim? Oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> You're not wearing a ponytail today. <laughs> I can't remember. You look different. Who, who looks different? You look different. I'm not gonna. Tell, I'm not gonna tell Irwin that he. he, he looks I'm wearing my uniform tonight. Yeah, I can see that. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Was there was there something special tonight? Really? You just work. Okay. You look happy too. There are business. I. I have reasons to be happy. <laughs> I know your goals. Your goal. I am happy for them. Okay, guys, share the screen if you can, please. We have to read together. Find, okay. the, find the meaning of the new words, okay? Okay. Okay. Environment deliver, delivers important cost important. savings. Important cost. That's important. Saving. Important. Yeah. Important cost. Savings through higher employee sat satisfaction and increased produ productivity. Fewer work workplace disruptions, disruptions and reduced 
accente, accente, things. <laughs> uh, <laughs> look, 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 look. Absentism. Ab absentism. Absentism. Mm -hmm. Absentism. And equipment downtime. Equipment. Downtime. Equipment. Equipment. Me continue. Yes. Don't expect employees to start with a culture of safety at work. Establishing a safety culture, including the necessary operation change and training and education programs start with you. The following are some measures you should start implementing with your team. Uh, make sure that garbage and the debris bins are available from the warehouse. Let there be block access to expose, expose it or expose. open. Expose or open lo loading dogs doors. Loading teacher. Closing. Loading dog. Oh, loading, oh. loading, loading. Loading dog doors. Keep ailes and pass 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 ways clear. Okay. In aisles, 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 and passageways. Keep aisles and passageways clear at all times. Yes. Teach employees to push manual material, handling equipment, equipment. whenever equipment, equipment, equipment whenever possible. Rather than, than pull pull ups, pull load, and test the load before lifting it. If it's too too heavy or bulky, get more. Keep those and floor free or boxes, garbage boxes, boiling materials, debris. Dirt and oil, and permit access to a boil, a boil floor racks and racks and shelves on only if portable levers or appropriate lifting device are available. Okay. Again, um, the, there is more to warehouse safety than obedience to five code and safety regulations. Unfortunately, too many warehouse entries. Push manual material handling equipment were, were never possible. Rather, reader than full low. Full low. Test the load before uh, lifting, lifting it. If it is too heavy or bulky, get up, get help. Keep dogs and floors free of boxes, garbage boxes. Bailing material, debris, dirt, and oil. Permit access to a ball floor, floor, no, floor racks and shelves only if portable leaders, leaders or appropriate lifting device are available. Available, available. Available. 
Available. Available. Available. Uh, teacher is strange. Is strange is, is literal D. Ladders. Uh, ladders. Escaleras. Ladders. D. Keep your back straight. Don't bend over. Strength. Oh, straight. 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 Mm. Straight. Straight. Uh, straight. Straight. There you go. Straight. Straight. Mm -hmm. Evita hacerla. Eh, eh. Straight. Straight. Hoy lo, hoy lo matamos en los 10 minutos que tenemos. Okay. <laughs> really? Straight. 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 Uh -huh. You got it. Almost. Yeah. You got it. Okay. So let's start. Se trata de respirar, chicos. Y liberar el aire entre los dientes. Straight. Por ejemplo. Straight. Straight. Stay. Straight. Student. Stop. Straight. 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 Good. Good. Apple flower. Apple flower. Apple flower. Permit access to above floor racks and shelves only if portable ladders or appropriate lifting devices are available. There is more to warehouse safety than obedience to fire calls and safety regulations. Unfortunately, too many warehouse and 3PLs look at safety at meeting the minimum instructed by the law or their conscience in the long run. Establishing a safety culture, including the necessary operation of so ocupan el inter. So we are doing a little on Zoom. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Teacher. Let's attack an area of opportunity that I'm noticing in all of you, well, many of you. And it's in trouble. I just found a web a website that is just for vocabulary. This words. Uh, let me see if I can make this somehow. I know this might be difficult because it's too many words. But I loved it. I just wrote P in the middle of words. Se, me estoy cortando, chicos, cuando hablo. No. Okay, no. okay, so look. Let's see, everybody. How do you read each word? Happy. 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 What? Pumpkin. 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 Okay. Pumpkin. Apple. Okay. Dolphin. 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 Hey, good. Dolphin. Oh. Up. 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 
Super. 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 Like ops. Uh, ops. Let, let's look for difficult ones now. What about this one? Xylophone. 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 What is a xylophone? What is a instrument? Like a marimba. It's a marimba. That's right. That's a filler. Hey, come on. Back. 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 Hey, what about this one? Alpha. 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 Couplet. 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 Okay. I think this is a uh, cover. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maple. Hyper. Camping. 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 Is, I don't know what it is. Unstoppable. 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 Deception. Deception. Cheaper. 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 Uh huh. Adopted. Adopt. Adopted. 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 Tercera regla de los verbos en pasado. Tercera regla de los verbos en pasado simple. Uh, verbos comunes. Regulares. Verbos regulares en pasado simple. Adopt. Adopted. Tercera. Adopted. 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 Hippo, like <laughs> No, right? It's an animal. Okay. Not an animal. Okay. How do you say hippo? Hiccups. Hiccups. Got it. Hippo. Empty. 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 Despair. 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 How do you say this? this... Vampire. 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 Okay. And this one? Philippines. 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 That's one of our favorite words, right, Jovan? Alexander. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what is that? No, it's not a tongue twister. You know, I found I found something good actually. I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna send you this link to your WhatsApp right away. And I found it very interesting because it's very useful. Um, I was just looking for words with with in the middle. Got it? Words with in the middle. That sound. The sound. So, and I found that one. Now, this the first, I saw the list of words, you see? It's called you go, you go words. So, okay. you can find multiple words, but look at this. It is very, oh, come on. Okay, it's very descriptive. You see, it's very descriptive. It even has a, a some sort of explanation here. Internet is killing me right now, and I have 40 gigabytes. What's going on? Anyway, 
Word scramble has been renamed. Okay. So you have composition, happy, pumpkin, length. I don't know what's length. Consonants, five consonants. Pum. Oh yes, consonants, right? How many vowels? Two. Syllables, two. Pumpkin. Hmm. Dolphin, hope. Oh. Two syllables, do you think? Oh. Okay, now what happens if you click on one of these words? Pay attention, this is very interesting. Purpose, purpose. Okay, we will wait for this to open. And there you go. Purpose is a seven letter word used as a noun or as a verb. Grade four with Middle English origins and has the letters E-O-P-P-R-S-U, okay? And there's a different spelling. Starts with P, ends with E, four consonants, three vowels and two syllables. Okay, uh, purpose is also a two syllable girl name. <laughs> okay, I found it, oh, uh, in this, this, this. Types of speech about purpose. You can use purpose as a noun or as a verb in a sentence. In a two-syllable, a two-syllable noun and seven letters with letters. Da, 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 da. The quality of it and so on. It gives you some sort of uh, explanation about the word. Noun example. And here you go. We have noun examples. The quality of being determined to do or achieve something. His determination showed in his every moment. He is a man of purpose. Is that a verb? Yes, he's um, acting as a verb. Mm. No, no, I'm like, no. no, it's a noun, it's a noun. Uh -huh. You have the verb, is. Mm -hmm. He is a man of purpose. What something is used for. Ballet is beautiful, but what use? Is it? What is it? Okay. And so on. So study the, 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 the website. Oh, look, synonyms, anagrams, derivates, hypernyms. I, I don't know what's a hypernym, and so on. <laughs> okay. It's very useful. Find some helpful things there. Okay. Let's move on. Hey, there's a lot of vocabulary for that lecture. Let's take advantage of that piece of article that we just read. Okay, what words did you find difficult on the reading? Talk to me. Okay, what was the reading about in general? What was the reading about? Uh, about rules to safety in, in the warehouse. Mm -hmm. Okay, and these are the rules or measures? What is measures? Medidas. It's for prevention. Medidas. Perfect. Yes. Yes. Okay, so measures you could start implementing with your team. So let's do something together right now. You have general housekeeping. These are the categories. Falls and other preventable mishaps. What are mishaps? Mm -hmm. It's a synonym for? And make mistake number three, yeah. What? Or... No. Yeah, issue. Accident. Accident. Exactly. Manual lifting. Forklifts and material handling equipment. Let's see. Letter A, make sure that garbage and debris bins 
are available throughout the warehouse. What category is that? General housekeeping, holes and other preventable things, caps, manual lifting, forklifts and material handling equipment. Okay. General housekeeping. General housekeeping. General housekeeping. Okay, what are the briefs? What happens if you find debris on your way when you're walking? You can fall down. You can fall. Actually, you can slide. You can slip. You can slip. Slip. Teacher, que no dijo que era boleta de pago eso. Payment slip. Mm. As a verb, as a verb, sleep, slide your finger on the floor and fall. Okay. Okay. Number two, block access to exposed or open loading dock doors. Block access to exposed or open loading dock doors. What are loading dock doors? Loading. Dog is muelle, verdad? Mm -hmm. Good job. Look for the muelle. Puertas de muelle de? Carga. Ah, de carga. De carga. Got it. ¿Cómo se diría eso en español? <laughs> in your own language. ¿Cómo has escuchado esa palabra? La entrada de un muelle de carga, no sé. Colocar yeah, bloques en las áreas de exposición. Uh, en las áreas expuestas a, a la ¿Cómo de... bloquear las entradas? O, o, ah, ah, bloquear las entradas. Expuestas a los muebles, a las puertas. De... Bloquear las, ex, las entradas a, a los muelles. No, colocar las puertas a las puertas. A ver, cuando hay adjetivos antes de un nombre, hay que ir de adelante para atrás. ¿o? Accesos a puertas, puestas, de... o puertas de muelle, de carga, expuestas a abrirse. Ahí está. Bloquear el acceso a puertas de muelle, de carga, uh -huh. expuestas a abrirse. Wow. ¿Vieron lo que dicen? ¿Sí entendieron? Ok, bloquear el acceso a. Me detengo. ¿Cuál es el noun acá? Doors. Ok, muelles, o sea, puertas, puertas de muelles de carga expuestas a abrirse. Expuestas o abiertas. Expuestas o abiertas. Ok, what is that? Back. It's like to prevent that there, there's nothing blocking the access to open doors on the loading area. What could happen? This is the last one. I will say forklifts and material handling equipment. They shouldn't, they don't have to be blocking the entrance, blocking the entrance of the doors. Okay. So, there was a lot of vocabulary in this class. If I were you, if I were you, I was. I were. I was. 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 I will check the video again and repeat, repeat, repeat during the reading, okay? Eh, por favor, me ayudan con la unidad 3 que está terminada en su plataforma. Until? Unit 3. Until what time? Well, what? Tonight. Tonight? Era dicho durante la clase, lo hubiera hecho, Ah, no, yo creo que la 3 creo que la tengo. Yo creo que sí, la mayoría de hecho ya, ya lo tienen. Okay, guys. 
Muchas gracias por estar conmigo de nuevo. De nuevo me quedo con... Ando bien. Ando mezclando los géneros. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Um, okay. Dígame. Teacher, a question. What happened with the homework of the unit two? What I, I think it's the first homework of the unit two. The problem was with the points. Oh, send me a message, please. We run out of time. Send me a message so I can report it or fix it. Okay, I don't remember. Did you report it to me? Yes, in the unit two. Really? Because there was a problem with unit with the exercise 1.7. With the Zoom. With the Zoom. Hmm. All the answers are, uh, were okay, and uh, Zoom is uh, 18, not oh, 20. The total. Uh, the total is incorrect. Mm -hmm. Yes, but at the end, it takes it like 100%. Yeah, they, they fix it. I have only 98 in that unit. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Point Because two? I finished, and, and it's 100%. Maybe, yeah. There's something missing. I'll check right now and let you know soon. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie. Just a minute. Where is the list? There is. I'm tired, guys. <laughs> Good night. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Good night. Andres Giovanni Valdivia Soportillo. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Good night. Good night. Irwin Lago Sangrade. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present, good night. Good night, Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present, good night. Good night. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present, good night. Good night, Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher, good night, everybody. Good night, José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. José Alberto Salas Benítez. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present. Good night. Good night, Luis. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde, René Alfonso Madrid Escalante, Roberto Luis Humaño Orellana, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Good night. Ajá, come on. <laughs> William Alexander Ramirez Flores. So William somewhere tonight. I don't know where he is. Okay. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernandez. Present. Good night. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Good night. Good night. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Okay. Mrs. Molina, how are you? Teacher. Hello. Hello. No le oigo this. Wendy. Wendy. I can you, hear you. you changed my name. Yeah, why? This is Molina. No, no, because I may, maybe today is not my turn. <laughs> oh, do you mean that? <sighs> Don't worry. <laughs> How are you? Um, I'm, I'm fine, maybe. It's What very mean? tired. Today, today was very tired. Why? What, what have you been doing? What have you been doing that you're tired? Because today uh, was finished the the PMP is performance is the final um, evaluation final. The final evaluation of what? Your university. In my work. At work? No, in, in my work, yes. Uh, I don't know how do you say. Es la evaluación de desempeño. 
la del oh. año. Labor Evaluation. I don't know. No, desempeño. Es PMP uh, Performance. Performance. Um, oh my God. Performance uh -huh. Evaluation. Really? It's assess, assessment performance. I, guess, I don't know. I don't remember. AMP, that. assessment. PMP, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How did it go? Very nice, but in my case, it's very, very long because my, depar my department is education and the old year. Uh, uh, what? Uh, no, trabajamos, es este, we worked. We work uh, much, and we have a much uh, goals, finish goals. We have many finished goals or unfinished goals. Is, uh, metas cumplidas. Ah, okay. Uh, many accomplished goals. Accomplished goals. Yes, it's very long. The work. How did it go? How was it? Um, for example, uh, how, how was it? Como estuvo? Ah, uh, what? My PMP or my Your work? evaluation? Ah, my evaluation is very nice because uh, in my case, I have a, a good goals mm. of, of good year, scores. Of scores of year because, for example, I have, no, I am um, chief the mental health area in my work. I'm the chief of the mental health area uh -huh, in my work and we have we ha, we we was maybe we got, we got. <laughs> of two emails uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, one thousand two maybe mil doscientas one thousand two hundred nineteen 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 1,219, let me see, 1,219, what? Yes, uh, um, I, uh, I, you can try, you can try, 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 try. In uh, Spanish, in Spanish, what was it? Atenciones psicológicas, mental health. Mental health. Mental health, yes. Uh, appointments. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we uh, we work in the um, how do you say entrenamiento training training yes we training IT mm. in Haiti mm. Haiti Haiti Honduras Mexico. Haiti. So you, you trained. You trained. I tra uh -huh, I trained at ha Haiti. Yes, I did. You went to you went to Haiti. Haiti, yes, I did. Did you go to Haiti? No. Uh, right now, only uh, online. But only me. I, only me. Oh, uh, yes. Uh -huh. only online but uh, i i in the last year no hace dos años last two years two, two years ago but two years yeah. ago mm -hmm. i i uh, went mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i went to i traveled to uh, haiti uh, mexico puerto rico in Honduras. In Honduras. In Honduras. <laughs> yes, teacher. Wow. It's difficult for me in the past, teacher. It's difficult for me in the past. The past is difficult for me. Yes, the past something is difficult. Is difficult. Remember, remember, something is difficult for me. Something is difficult for me. 
Let's see. Yes. Let's, uh, see that, let's see if that's true. Did you study at INSA? In where? Did you study at INSA? No. No, you said no, right, last time? No, no, no. I study in the Capitan General Gerardo Barrio. Mm. Mm -hmm. And you, you, you live in Santa Ana, teacher? I lived in Santa Ana many years. Uh, from, well, not from 7 to 16. From my 7 oh. to 16 years old. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I miss it. I miss it sometimes because I loved it. I mean, I love the, the weather. It's really nice when I used to live there. Going to the going to El Redondel to play basketball. I El Palmar. <laughs> I'm from El Palmar. I'm from one of the El Salvador pasajes. Pasaje Salvador. Yeah, one of the three. I think there are three or four together in the line. You remember? Do you remember the clinic? The municipal clinic. In front of the INSA. Mm -hmm. Very, yeah. very close, yeah. So that was one of the passages, you know. Ah. There, were, there were four passages. It's just that it's a roundabout. If you look at it on Google Maps, it's a, it's a round, you know, it's like, a, like an egg, the whole neighborhood. <laughs> it's a huge egg around the park. Oh. It's, it's huge. I, I miss it. I, I used to love living there. Yes, because it's it's not much uh, noisy. Uh -huh. There's not much noise. There is not noise. much noise. Not much noise. <laughs> For example, right now is uh, is very quiet. And today is Friday. Mm. Uh, Maybe is the well. Well, right now have a um. I don't know. How do you say? Un poco más. A little. A little more. What? A little more uh, traffic, but it's There's very. Ah, uh, but You're, it's okay. Homework. Practice. Okay. There, there is. There are. There is. There are. Okay, teacher. I practice the last, well, the last uh, time you say me, I told me, practice uh, one uh, one day for for week. For example, me dijo que practicara una vez cada, y lo estoy haciendo, teacher. Creo que he mejorado un poquito. <laughs> Seguí con lo que le decía, de, de pensar en esto. O sea, escucharte en español que es lo que estás diciendo, intentar traducirlo al inglés. Eso te va a forzar, te va a meter en el lío, en el lío enorme de decir, ¿cómo se dice esto? Lo que estoy diciendo. ¿Sí? Yo sé, que, yo sé que, por ejemplo, cuando digo much, posiblemente much no sea la palabra correcta que debo de usar en ese sentido de la oración. Uh -huh. Pero ya estoy identificando que no es la palabra correcta. Entonces tengo que ir a buscar qué otra palabra es la correcta. Por eso te digo, there is, there are. Ok, there is, there are. Ahora okay. te voy a enviar una presentación que es bien útil para eso, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, good night. Thanks, teacher, good night. Bye, bye.